Hi there, and welcome to our quarterly series about working with Visi. This time out, we're going to look at creating a Visi patch that includes effects presets. Here's how it works. Open a new patcher window. Open the Visi browser. Select the starter module from the Visi browser's preset tab and position the modules in the corner of your patch. Before you do anything else, save your patch and give it a memorable name. Choosing the starter module adds two things to your brand new patch. A standard Visi module called Starter, which you can use to synchronize the starting and stopping of your patch and to change its output resolution, and some Max externals assembled to resemble a Visi module. Although they may look like a Visi module when you lock your patch, the part of the starter labeled Presetter is actually a group of Max objects that create and store presets at the top level of your patch. Let's do some patching. Unlock your patch, click on the Visi icon to open the Visi browser, and click and drag to add a player module from the input tab of the Visi browser. We're going to add a Visi viewer module to our starter patch too. Open the Visi browser and click and drag a viewer from the output tab into your patch and connect the output of the player module to the input of the viewer module. You may not have encountered the viewer module before. Unlike the projector module, which you probably use normally, it doesn't use a separate window to display its input. Instead, it lives inside your patch, which makes it really useful for viewing outputs while you're patching. Let's load a movie. Lock your patch by clicking on the padlock in the lower left-hand corner of your patcher window. Click on the video icon in your patcher window to display the video browser. And click and drag a video onto the player module's display to load the video. Now, unlock your patch again. We're going to make things a little more interesting by using a Visi module you may not have seen before, the Patch Router module. You'll find it listed in the Controller tab in the Visi browser. The Patch Router is a 4x4 routing matrix that lets you connect multiple Visi effects together and reroute the order of their connection in interesting ways to make cool looking patches. We can save ourselves a lot of patching time in this video by making use of the Visi help files, which you can display by selecting a module and option clicking on Macintosh or control clicking on Windows. The help files don't merely show you how a module works. They're also regular Max patches, just like normal Max help files. To use a part of the patch, unlock it, select the parts you want, choose copy from the edit menu, and then close your patch. We can now remove the old version of the module from our original patch and paste in what we copied by choosing Paste from the Edit menu. Collect the player module's output to the video input for the patch router and the video output to our viewer module. Before we create some presets, let's investigate the patch router module a little bit more. The patch router part of our patch that we just pasted in includes four Visi effects modules, a Burkoser, Tracer, Slider, and Pixelator. They may look a little different from what you'd expect, though. For one thing, they take up a lot less space, and they don't have any front panels. These are abstraction versions of Visi modules. All Visi modules have them. They have the same number of inlets and outlets as the Visi modules you already know, and they do take up a lot less space, which makes patching easier. To access the front panel of any abstraction, all you have to do is double-click on the object in a locked patcher window, and the module's front panel will open in its own window. To close the window, click in the dot at the upper left-hand corner of the module's patcher window. Visi module abstractions all use the same naming convention. The lowercase letters VZ and a dot, followed by the name of the Visi module in lowercase letters. Using abstractions can make your Visi patching a lot faster and more compact. To add an abstraction yourself, unlock your patch and type N to create a new object box. Type in the name of the abstraction you want to use. For this example, I'll copy the abstraction version of the Burkoser module by typing vz.b. 
Burke cursor in lower case, and hit the return key. Presto, the object pops up, all ready to patch. Let's get back to business. We'll lock our patch again and explore the patch router module in a little detail. The module uses a simple grid to assign the order in which Visi effects modules will be patched together. When you hit the reset button, it will patch effect 1 to effect 2 to effect 3 to effect 4. The randomize order button will scramble that order for you. The number of effects to patch menu lets you choose any number of effects between 1 and 4. It's a really quick way to patch quickly and intuitively, even if you don't modify a single parameter for any effects modules at all. Okay, so we got a pretty interesting patch now with a lot of possibilities. It's time to make some presets. Let's see, the player module's controls let us change the video's playback speed, and we can also choose loop points for the portion of the video to be played back by clicking and dragging the range display. We can also use the reset buttons to return to normal speed and range settings while we're working. Likewise, we can use the randomization features of the patch router effects module and vary the number of effects for a pretty great range of results pretty quickly and pretty easily. So, when you've got something you like, hold down the shift key and click in a square in the presetter module's display. The square will change color to indicate that the preset has been saved. While we're at it, well, let's make another one. Let's save our presets. To do so, click on the right button in the preset module. A dialog box will appear and ask you for a file name you want to use to save your presets. You should save this file in the same folder as your original patch. Now, quit the Max application and relaunch it. Your Max patch will show up, but you won't see any of the presets and there won't be a movie loading. To load your presets, click on the Read button and choose the preset file you just saved. It will load and your presets are ready to go. You'll need to reload the video you're working with since the player module doesn't automatically restore movies. If you'd like to automatically load a movie, you can save a movie file to the folder where your patch lives and then add a load bang object and a message box containing the message read followed by the name of your movie and connect it to the right inlet of the player module. After you've done that, save and close your file. The next time you reopen your file, your movie will be loaded, and you're all ready to load your presets and get going. By the way, the basic preset patch includes the Visi starter module, which includes includes the ability to start or synchronize multiple Visi modules so that they work together. And you can also change the aspect ratio of the output video on the fly. In fact, it automatically handles letterboxing in case the input format of the video doesn't match the kind of output that you want. We'll be looking at the features of this module in detail in a later video. In the meantime, have fun and happy patching.